Yo, what's good, guys? We are doing something new today. It is going to be a live duel of Pendulums versus Alter Guys, but in a new format, we're going to be doing twice the speed so you guys can catch the full match in as short as time as possible because I know everyone's busy and you don't want to sit there watching a full 30-minute match of Pendulum versus Alter Geist. But here we go. I win the die roll, and you know it's going to go good when you win a die roll after rolling a 2. But I want you guys to look at how the blue boy engine works, okay? There's a little bit of glare there. But you see there, he ashes the blue boy. A lot of people are going to do that. And it's obviously incorrect because you, if you have another secrets in your hand, you can end up getting knowledge. And you see, the thing I love about having two blue boy cards, whether it's secrets or spellbook magician blue boy himself, you don't even need to normal summon a lot of the time. You just get a free tr draw two and that's two counters for abductor for nothing. It's like having two upstart goblins which this deck requires as many of those draw cards as possible. I'm telling you, it is absolutely insane in this deck, especially if you know when to hold a normal summon and when not to. Here in this situation, I'm scared of more hand traps, so I use Chronograph Jackal. Uh, I, I use Surburst on Jackal, Chronograph Special. I already use Ash, so you can't actually desires. I didn't put another scale there. But as you see the hand, man, it, it seems amazing. But you know what? There's no Servant, there's no Abductor. The whole deck's evolved around Servant and Abductor. We didn't draw it, and we played nine of them, but that's totally fine. We have now use pen call for an extra blue boy. So you see, if you end up drawing, like we had three blue boys there, two blue boy, one secrets, and that's okay because you have six pen calls. You have dragon caller to make it a dragon. It's totally okay if you were to hard draw one of these cards because at the end of the day, they still you're not playing like some you run. You don't need the level. It doesn't matter if it's level two or it doesn't matter if it's not a non pendulum. You still use it as Link Away for the Guard Dragon combo, regardless, even to make Triple Burst, Dragster, whatever it may be. Now he has a second hand trap there, the Impermanence, and the Impermanence is obviously going to hurt there. You're going to have Ash and Impermanence. Uh, you're playing, you, we didn't end up drawing a low scale, so we're with, we got Cerberus and Dragon Pit there, and all I need is any one card to Pendulum Summon, and I still have my full Guard Dragon combo. I end up Blind Alluring, which I don't think was the correct play because it's again, we're talking about. Uh, I know I'm facing Alter Guys. It's going to be a slow matchup. So I should have saved that allure for next turn. But I have so many darks in the deck. I thought I'll draw one. I just need one monster to summon. But that's totally fine. You're going to shrine here. Give Jackal two counters. And get a Dragster. So even through the two hand traps. You still have Jackal and Dragster. And a huge part of it is the Electrum. Because you you know you're facing a bad deck. A deck that can't do much. And Alter Guys. The high, high chance that Electrum is still going to stay there on your turn. He activates Extravagance, I negate with Dragster. One thing to note for you guys, if you play back row decks with Extravagance, try and use Extra If you know I have negates, and if you know I'm going to negate the Extravagance, just banish three cards, save the thing from you. But he uh, summons Silkwitz, sets two. And as I said, I'm going to still have Electrum, obviously. So I'm going to use Electrum to pop the Dragon Pit, uh, to free up the Cerberus to get Garuda. So now you're able to get Garuda to pop another card. As you see, against control decks, it's just really, really good. You all had the two hand traps, but all you need against control decks is one spell trap to get one monster to get in a seal. It's typically all is good, but obviously the hand trap, you can do, put up the seal too. We pop, he knows we're going to negate it. He's like, all right, all right, scoop, let's go next game. And I told him, like, like, don't scoop if we can, but if it's obvious game, then scoop. Because I know you guys don't want to see obvious game like that, but we're not going to go on to game two. And I'm telling you, man, 60 cards allows you to play these toolbox cards. And in Pendulum, a lot of these cards just do the same thing. Like, a lot of them resolve, they do the same thing. The only card that's overpowered compared to everything else is Servant. But that's why we also throw in Abductor. Because Abductor has a similar effect in the sense that the plus one it gets is vital. Like, we're talking at any card from your deck to your hand. So Abductor's, when res Abductor resolves, it's almost as powerful as Servant. So just because you play 60, it doesn't mean you play less of these power cards. Just see one of those nine... And it's the same thing as seeing as a servant. And because you play 60, you play way more spells now. So it's like you just resolve those cards at ease. And it's absolutely insane. I really think that if the if the meta is going to be control, this is just the best deck ver versus it. Like you're going to see now, I'm going second. And hey, spoiler alert, I'm going to be facing four counter traps here. Like it's not going to be easy at all. Like we're talking set five with every one of them being serious traps, man. Like... It's going to be difficult, but again, if you build a deck to destroy control, I didn't even side deck. I just fake sided, so he thought I sided, but I didn't side anything in whatsoever. You don't need to side against these decks because the main deck is built to beat these decks. The main deck is almost already pre-sided. 
So I use a lure here. As you see, it's gonna, you're going to notice how powerful Abductor is. It's going to keep adding cards, adding cards, drawing cards, free counters, mastery. Now, what I should have done in this situation, I know he plays Storm Duster in his side deck against me. I should have got the big Endymion. So this is a big misplay on my end. I ended up searching the small servant. I thought Abductor was going to get popped. I had a lot of spells in hand. So I kind of knew that I was still going to... I kind of knew that Abductor was going to get popped and I was going to be able to resolve Servant. So it was a little mistake on my end. I should have got the high, the high scale because I didn't have a high scale on my end. But I have the centric. I had options to pen something. But like, you know what? I'm going to take this little by little. I'm going to draw into the high scale most likely. And it's going to pop off his back row little by little. I think he's going to use Storm Duster on my two cards. But he didn't. I hit the strike. I'm like, okay, let's go, baby. One counter trap down. Now you see just how good a centric is and Abductor is. Just like that, like I cleared one interruption for nothing, for free. Because the doctor was a plus one. So you basically started, like, just a free plus one, just like that. I activate Pen Call, Dark Worm. Pen Call, Dark Worm, you see the hand's nice. He Solemn Judgment is the Pen Call. I'm like, oh, I did not expect that coming. But Solemn Judgment, Strike, hey, we're, we're two down. We're two down. So he's at 4,000. And the, with another way you'd be Alter Guys, you have so many cards to kill their light points. Imperial Order, the Seven Solemns, your Dark Worm, get Gate Zero. I'm like, okay. I might not be able to pen some in this turn if Electrum doesn't resolve, but that's totally fine. I'm going to put this guy at so low that he can't even use any more Solemn cards. I know he plays 7 Solemns. This is how you play against decks like this. And you don't even got to win right away. So normal Servant, I'm just going to attack. If you attack, that's 2,700. He'll be at 1,300 after that, and he can't strike my Electrum. But he ends up using Crackdown, which I didn't expect there. And now I can't even attack at all. So I'm like, you know what? Go ahead. I have a Mare Mare, Gate Zero, and Cerberus in hand. As you see, it would have been better if I had the Endymion. But again, I wanted the Servant as well so I could normal summon it. I didn't have a normal summonable monster. So I guess it's totally fine as well that I got that. But the hand what didn't work out. I ended up drawing into Cerberus. I am thinking about taking a Cerberus even though it's really, really good versus control decks. And as you see here, it looks like everything's bad, right? It looks like you're going to lose. But no, you got to understand, even the card I drew sucked. Even the card I drew sucked. But now we're going to use Abductor's Effect to add. And again, you don't need to do a lot. A lot of you need to understand that. You're facing a deck that doesn't do a lot. Control decks do not do a lot. They don't do a lot. So as you see, I, I could do so much stuff in this situation. I could add anything I want from Abductor. And that's really the, the beauty of Abductor is you're able to do so much things in so many different situations. I end up getting chronographed here knowing that little by little he's going to start popping my stuff. And I'm going to build a special chrono at ease if I'd like to from my hand. I have a blue boy in my hand that I drew. So I'm going to normal summon the blue boy into try and baiting him into thinking I play two knowledge. This is, uh, you only play one knowledge. I already used it, I believe. Or I didn't use it first. I actually, I don't, no, that was game one. Sorry, I did not use knowledge yet this, this game. So he stops it, which is correct play. And now on the destruction of the blue boy, I special chronograph. And Cerberus, I'm like, yo, I'm going to win. I'm just going to attack. But then he solemn strikes that chronograph. And I'm like, get wrecked. So just like that, he gets rid of my chronograph. I'm dealing with triples, like... That's double strike and judgment you just dealt with. But again, that puts him at 1,500 or 2,500 life points. So it's totally cool. He can't attack with Dark Worm. He has one random card set. I'm like, this is cool. I don't need to pen summon. I don't need to do anything. I'm in lead. I'm in the lead right now. Go ahead. Like, what could that deck do? In manifestation gets the protocol. That's so now protocol's live. So that's fine. He swings. I'm like, okay, damn it. See, so his protocol live. I end up drawing another deck card. But you can't give up. Like, you just got to outgrind these decks. A lot of people think Altergeist is the best grind deck. No, Pendulum is the best grind deck in the world. And it's not even close, man. It's not even close. A doctor kill that. And look at that. Just like that, he has nothing. Now, I just need any high skill and I win the duel. Like, that's literally, that's all. You, even if you drew Multifaker or if you drew Milius or whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. He used Storm Duster to pop my scales. I'm like, oh, it looks like all hope is lost, right? No, now you have the Cerberus you had left. Cerberus. Cerberus get anything and then he ashes a Cerberus. I'm like, oh my god, look at how much I'm dealing with now. I'm dealing with a Storm Duster, Triple Solemn, Ash, spoofing, all that uh, protocol, whatever. But I put Gate Zero there. I pen summon a level three. I have Mare Mare in hand. I'm gonna make Electrum, get Chronograph on field, draw a card, tribute Mare Mare, and then do my full guard dragon combo. So uh that's game right there. A Boral Sword game, because he's at 1500. So I'm just gonna Boral Sword, and you realize this game is like a good game, you win, and that's the game. It's too easy. Pendulum best deck. If you like the video and like this style, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.